KVGC News Time, seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Time now for a look at the news for Monday, the fifth day of June for 2017. Amador County Assessor Jim Rooney says you may be able to get some relief on your tax assessments if you have a lot of dead trees. Rooney says the assessor's office has been searching affected areas for parcels that may qualify for assessment relief, but the office is also requesting that property owners who feel they have a substantial reduction in their property value due to tree mortality contact the office to let them know. He says that after reviewing communications from the State Board of Equalization and speaking with the assessors of other Foothill counties, it's been decided that the best way to address the problem of lost value due to tree mortality is to consider it a calamity to the land and make adjustments based on the overall severity of the problem to each parcel on an individual basis. In order to qualify, there must be at least $10,000 of damage. And if you feel that you qualify for consideration, please fill out the application for Misfortune Calamity form. It's available by visiting amadorgov.org or the assessor's office. Well, as we head into summer months, Ion City Fire Chief Ken Mackey has a few tips for both Ion and county residents. First off, everyone should check their address numbers for visibility. Now, if you stand across the street from your house, can you see the numbers clearly? If not, there's a chance emergency service responders cannot see them either. Now, Mackey says make sure the numbers are at least three inches in height, clearly visible from the street, and in contrast with the background. Now, the second reminder is for all property owners and tenants within I own, your weeds must be cut to two inches and dangerous combustibles must be removed from your property. Weed abatement and fire safety is everyone's responsibility. Now, Mackey reminds I own city residents it takes your assistance to keep the city safe from fire during wildland fire season. Well, the Ion Fire Department is issuing mandatory notices to properties throughout the city, and failure to comply results in a citation and a contractor being hired at the owner's expense to abate the hazard. Mackey also reminds homeowners in the Cal Fire responsibility areas of the county of the 100 feet of defensible space requirement. For any questions on fire safety within the city of Ion, Contact the fire department, 274-6115 or 256-4498. Amador County Animal Control and APAL are again reaching out to the public for help in placing a number of cats and kittens. Amador County Animal Control was called by County Code Enforcement to a dwelling in Sutter Creek recently to remove 25 to 30 cats after the location was deemed uninhabitable. APAL is currently working with Animal Control to find foster homes for 22 kittens that have been pulled from the home so far. Nine semi-feral adult cats are also being spayed or neutered and vaccinated and will need to be placed into the Barn Cat Home Program through APAL's Community Cat Program. Call Judy at 267-9050 if you can foster a litter of kittens until they're old enough to adopt out. Or call APAL at 223-0410 if you can provide a barn cat with a home. There is a charge of $15 per cat and all of these animals have all the needed vet care. Donations are also needed and welcomed. For more information, visit Paws Partner, that's one word, pawspartner.org. Well, East Bay Municipal Utility District, East Bay Mud, will be conducting a vegetation management burn about 10 acres in size off Stony Creek Road and Pardee Reservoir in Yeager's Gulch, Wednesday, June 7th. That's this Wednesday. Now, smoke will be visible in the area, specifically northeast of Pardee Recreation Area. Crews begin work at about 9 a.m. on the 7th. The burn will be canceled and rescheduled if there are extreme fire conditions or inclement weather on or around the date of the burn. Any questions or for further info regarding the project, call 772-8204. Sutter Amador Hospital is offering classes for new parents starting tomorrow. The first classes are boot camps for new dads and maternal connections for new moms. 
and they're being held at the hospital from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow, June 6. Also starting this week is a breastfeeding success series, which kicks off Wednesday, 1030, and runs every Wednesday through June next Tuesday. They will hold a class about baby's first month from 6 to 8.30. And they will also hold breastfeeding beyond the basic course on June 20th. You can get more information, of course, on all of these classes by visiting SutterAmador.org. And Mark Twain Medical Center has announced the opening of the 2017 Dignity Health Community Grant Program. Each grant program candidate must submit a letter of intent by the deadline, June 30th, to be considered... Applicants must be a 501c3 nonprofit organization or have a fiscal agent that is a 501c3 and capable of administering the funds. Now, the project or program must be a response to the health priorities identified in the Mark Twain Medical Center Community Health Assessment and Community Benefit Plan. The Dignity Health Community Grant Program, designed to support nonprofits that collaborate to address community health needs particularly those that focus on underserved populations. Mark Twain Medical Center will award $32,701 this grant year in January of 2018. For more information or to apply for a grant, visit marktwainmedicalcenter.org, click Community Benefits, follow the link to Community Grants. Letter of intent are due to the area representative, Nikki Stevens, by Friday. June 30th. And you can get your own poster commemorating the Kennedy Mine Foundation's 20th anniversary. I own artist George Lambert created the image of the Kennedy tailing wheel number one featured on the poster. The 16 by 20 posters are available at, at $20 each at the Kennedy Mine gift store on weekends and at the Amador County Chamber of Commerce office in Jackson. Posters will also be for sale during the Kennedy Mine Foundation's 20th anniversary benefit dinner on Thursday the 22nd at the Kennedy Mine. And that's a look at local news on this Gold Country Monday, the 5th day of June for 2017. From the KVGC News Center, I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting.